Shalom guys, I hope that you're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for a daily reading for the 10th of December. Happy birthday, happy anniversary, all that good stuff. And I send you love and light if you are um, fighting any type of energies today that would try to bring you down. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against you, you shall condemn it. But this is your heritage if you call out upon Jehovah and you are... Um, connected with Jehovah Elohim who is our Yeshua our salvation he will give you us away every time when we face stuff like that so I send you love and light if you're returning welcome back if you're brand new I'm just a different type of a, a reader that you probably have ever experienced um, I use the tarot I use homemade decks I use the living language because it's actually wrapped up in the tarot a lot of people know that a lot of people don't so if you didn't know it it is um, but Jehovah has led me in a, a different type of way in how to prophesy, uh, say it that way. And so anyway, I'm, I'm probably a little bit different than what you've experienced, And but welcome. I feel the energy, and sometimes it comes across real forceful. It's not ever towards anyone. It's against the energy, and I can't explain how, why I'm feeling it except to say that Jehovah's allowed me to feel what he's feeling about a matter. And so, anyway, I give all praise, glory, honor to the one who has created uh, heaven and earth. And uh, anyway, he's running these gates on my tower here. And I love him. And uh, anyway, that's who I am in a nutshell if you stay. So, let's get started. Thank you, Jehovah, for clear, defined messages. Jehovah, just find, block, and rebuke it every foul demonic wicked dark energy right here right now command it to go straight to the pit of the lower parts of the earth where it will stay there in chains of darkness where it's reserved for those negative dark energies i thank you today for today we will rejoice and be glad in it okay we have uh jehovah shall bless you today a thousand fold so so be blessed this beautiful energy and um the camel is coming out here and this is going back to telling us a couple of things that you'll have me write down on this card and one of these goes back to Balaam and Balaam was approached to go curse something that was already blessed the people of the Most High and uh, somebody just kept trying to bribe and bribe and bribe him to go curse somebody that was already blessed the house of Jacob Yisrael uh, which is where we get our faith, by the way. The high priestess holds the Torah on her lap in the deck. And so the the camel, one of the scriptures could be that I found was connected back to that. But the camel also in the New Testament is uh, being referred to by Christ telling us that it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom. That's huge. And um, so the camel's coming out here. We need to make sure that we never give in to a bribe, that we bless and not curse, okay? And that money don't have us, but we have it, okay? There's a big difference. When things have you, you'll do anything. And that'll, that'll, that'll be how you and I move if, if, we, if we, we don't let go. It's a controlling type of an energy. And nobody wants... Uh, to be cursed <laughs> and that will curse you and I if we do that it'll curse you if you take a bribe as well it's what the scripture says and so somebody comes around you today and try to bribe you for something beware of that okay uh, if you don't do that you always bring in a blessing for a thousand fold blessing today that's huge that actually came out on a, a little audio that I did last night as well so that's that's nice energy if you stand the test he will bless so we also have I only have eyes for you and uh, there's a love interest here and um, there is um, beautiful energy of being truthful here somebody's gonna come and say it so uh, no weapon formed against us shall prosper and every time that rises up against us we shall condemn it okay in this portion of scripture it states that they surely shall gather together against you and I when we want to do the truth uh, but he says, no weapon formed against you and I shall prosper. Some people are coming out of this stuff. Jehovah's already going to be blessing. Uh, he's already been telling us here lately that he's going to be bringing down the spirit of Jezebel. It's already done. It's already done. The battle belongs to the Most High. 
It's already been done. We have uh, no one come. No one cares about your stupid group. That's right. And this is what Jehovah said. My throat chakra is trying to close up because the enemy don't want us to speak the word people the truth of the matter is that you and i have authority over every demonic entity um michael and his angels are defeating the devil and his angels those demons okay and that's control spirit and pride and conceit and i want you to you know to curse somebody instead of bless <clears throat> that's been defeated and so you always bringing out here that he's saying no one cares about your stupid groups anymore. Nobody does. And so if people, you know, whoever the leadership of these stupid groups that, that try to control, Jehovah's revealing that there's, I guess, people within those groups even that they don't they think it's stupid, that it's come to a place where people just don't even care about it anymore. And because it's all going to be burnt up in one day anyway, those briars, those thorns, those piercing, nasty energies that want to bind people. It's, the debt's already been paid in full. People need to wake up and have a clue about it. <clears throat> so you and I get to walk in victory every day of our life. So we have um, a, a card coming out here. We have a family member here as well that's involved in something. We have a... Um, card out here that says pluck and feathers uh, a plucking of feathers from a bird um, or to take off something or someone by force by robbing or plundering somebody has been robbed that's why he's gonna he's gonna bring it back a thousand fold he's gonna bless us so some people have just plundered people and took things by force by the stupid group and Jehovah's saying ain't no more they get plucked now. They really do. He's removing this energy out of the air. So a family member was involved in something with this energy coming out here. I want to take a little deck here that I have. Um, it's the Hebrew homemade deck that is mixed in here with the actual uh, Rider weight. <clears throat> we'll just see what comes out. So some words may come out with some pictures. So, Jehovah, what's known about this stuff? Because so we are definitely dealing with material issues for plundering to come out here and things that have been plucked away and, and um, <clears throat> things that have gotten in between love, interest, and there's this truthful interest energy showing up here for you and I. Somebody has eyes for somebody and it states it is truthful. Okay, it is truthful and that's lovely energy. And there is not going to be any weapon formed against you and I that's going to prosper. Maybe for a time it may have seemed that way, but it's not. Jehovah is not going to curse or reverse a curse upon you when he's already blessed you if you belong to the household of faith. And uh, we're victorious. Demons don't get to win. Jehovah's shaking them out of the land. Little by little, he said. And today, a little bit more. They're going away. So people better be standing in their truth, standing in faith, in the name of Jehovah. Jehovah, what do you want to bring out here? <clears throat> somebody's uh, made a decision here maybe to travel forward this person's got the world ball in their hand this is being at a crossroad this is could be a plotting card they've already went through the process they've already got a wand in their hand to go to the next stage to manifest those ideas and uh, the world is uh, uh, the world card represents integrity Okay, well, some we've got both ways going out here. Somebody's got a decision here that's been made, or you're being seen, you're being shown a decision that uh, is being that you you need to make it today, and be sure that you're going to hold the world ball as integrity. That no matter where you and I go, we're blessed wherever the, the sole of our feet. Um, 
they they tread that we're blessed because that's the word of the divine we have the wheel and uh, this would take us back to like the wheel of fortune but this is the word Gilgil and it goes back to a cartwheel or a whirlwind well there has been a whirlwind people um, somebody's been looted on nobody cares about these stupid groups anymore it's nasty energy and uh, whatever the weapons within this whirlwind has been it ain't happening no more this is the hand of the divine uh, for it to be um, uh, the the will of fortune it's the yod that would come out the truth is here this also go back to the truth there's clarity about some things here uh, about if, if you got looted on it's clear about who did it who was involved what the group was about uh, why it happened the greed that went behind it was somebody trying to hang on or to curse you um, you always gonna bless you back because there's clarity about some things coming out here resting after a broken heart there's death issues here that have tore the heart apart as well some people need to go under the knife and possibly I send you love and light maybe you are standing here at a crossroad on what to do uh, with medical issues I'm not sure so there are death issues things have completely transformed ended it has affected a large amount of people here it's been a mystery um, it's been uh, dark energy for some people there's law involved in things <clears throat> but something's totally over here and there's communication showing up here that so we've got the mem which is a sea of people in the Hebrew and we've got the Aleph head which is uh, somebody who leads a clan so there's a bunch of people here and we got death showing up twice here that have been plundered and killed and everything else but you know if you and I have escaped this stuff by standing in the truth then no evil shall befall our dwelling regardless even if somebody did come and take something he's gonna make it bring it back a thousand fold whatever this the, nobody cares about their little groups anymore because all it does is bring a death into the land and Jehovah's a living Elohim he's not of death understand um I want to see that yeah and this word here is um in the Hebrew the Aleph head with the mem represents a hundredfold well we have a thousandfold actually this word can go back to meaning a, an a num a numerable amount of number uh, but it also had the meaning of a hundredfold, and we have a thousandfold out here, people. So if you've been looted on, you stand in truth, you better stand assured that we're going to get it back. This has been secret money, secret property, things that people have done with sex and killed for it and all the rest and taxes and looting on um, fraudulent things here, okay? And, and they, they've done magic and everything. This is a manipulation energy, but there's a truth here about some communication that's coming. The, the burden, yeah, the oppression, the death, and uh, all the rest. It's just really here. But this is over. This has been really hard. This has really been so hard. Been, it's been a spiritual war. We know that the wands are spiritual. So something is guided. <clears throat> we have the, um, the star card. This is also a relationship that is guided as well. We do have somebody who has, only has eyes. For somebody no one else can compare to them this is something that's going to be exposed something's already known it's going to be communicated about what was created with this stupid crap that's got your family member involved with all of that and the death situation if that's inheritance then it is all right so we've got the star here and some people have been really bitter I mean nobody oppresses unless they're freaking bitter this is wormwood in the negative right but they're defeated we have the queen of wands coming out here and the queen of wands in the upright should get up and she would be spiritual and she would lead a clan of people in truth okay she would smite with her wand and she would do it in integrity and in the negative this person's a hot head this person will lay down with anybody and her bed will be spread and because uh, this is secret sex and we do know that there have been other women and manipulation and things that have taken place on property with this person who possibly <clears throat> was in uh, star, stardom it's known about the oppression that this person has done to people for the other person uh, for the other woman or whatever the crap that was in the negative uh, this is somebody who is in uh, the occult okay in the negative because the occult is right here uh, if you're in the upright you were fighting against the darkness and shining the light within your situation so we have the lovers card here and there is a decision here 
there is a decision here today to communicate <clears throat> some things here. So what's underneath this? <clears throat> yeah, there's a positive light showing up here and there's accountability to that light today to do the right thing. Somebody's afraid. Well, if you're going to operate in fear, you're none of the divines. And we have um, the word is uh, gador, and that is to enclose a wall that encircles a city. Okay, so there's there's a energy here of uh, being hedged in on stuff. Well, this goes back to the stupid groups. They they're all going to be put together. Jehovah said, and they're all going to be taken care of just like that. He's been saying it for the last couple of days. There was a, a mass, a number of people that are going to be now a sea of people. Somebody who leads a clan. They're, they're, they're just going to be out just like that. Here comes the whirlwind. It is. So there's a decision by an authority figure here also showing itself to us. They're weighing the pros and the cons. Well, your pros and cons are either truth and a lie. And uh, whatever you do from the truth, by way of your decision with the truth, is going to determine uh, what your uh, pros and cons will turn out to be. Uh, I need some more coffee. I hope this is making sense. We've got um, the word is to magnify. Oh, come and magnify the Most High because there is none like Him. He is the only true magnificent power and authority. We have a, we have a elder here. We have somebody who's been very stout here. Well, we already know it. I don't have to go into that. We have we know that. And we have security here showing up. And somebody's trying to cling on to something. Again, it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom where the real streets of gold are there. We're entering into that, people. We really are. The world as we know it is completely transformed. We're right here at the flood. And uh, all the wicked are getting taken out little by little. They just really are. And it's guided. It really is. So anyway, it is a spiritual war. And it's already been won. This is what came out. Until next time, Shalom.